Hi, I'm Anna again. So uh, today I have something new. I prepared something new. This is about history. So I'll be talking about a very significant person um, who, uh, a significant person in China. And of course, I bet uh, you are very familiar of his name. That's King His Khan. So yes, this is how you spell it. King His Khan. So I wrote it down. So he is the father of dynasties in China. So he's the root of dynasty. So I know you are have heard of it. Um, this is um, you know every dynasty. That, uh, if you are living in the Philippines like me, I bet you know um, that families. Um, for example, if the father is a politician, most likely the son or someone in the family would be. A, a uh, politician as well so that's him and he's somewhat related to to, to Confucius um, anyway okay so we have um, he started the dynasties in China as I have mentioned and then um, this is according to travelchinaguide.com um, he there are three bridge that happened during his existence that's the bridge of wuxia fortress bridge of juyunggan bridge of tonggan so here's my question how could jinghis can breach the great wall while others couldn't so he was able to breach the great wall so imagine so the great wall that we have right now is not just the great wall that we have before so there's three supposedly but now there's only one so we have um okay another fact about him he is the founder of the mongol empire and he was the only one who bridged the great wall of china in its 2700 year history so imagine 2700 year history I think this is the time when Christ died so in the other side of the globe that is when um, uh, Jesus uh, lived um, for as for the atheist you know uh, Bible is not just um, an enlightened an enlightened book but it is also a book of history so Jesus really did exist so that is when uh, he that's I often hear someone like 2,000 years ago someone died for you so if for those who doesn't know me I'm also you know an evangelical Christian so I also believe in that because he did exist so that's 2,000 years ago so it's like about the other side of the globe right it's in Spain and Israel so that's 2007 2700 years ago so in the other side of the globe Genghis Khan uh, lived and then he has overthrown the Jin dynasty and the Yuan dynasty I've heard more about Yuan dynasty I will talk about more about it in the next videos okay so I hope you could wait for it and then let me talk about the bridge of Wuxia uh, fortress so in 9 or in 1211 he ordered his army to attach the Wuxia fortress so however the Jin court uh, had renovated the fortress beforehand and built a secret passage to connect the, per the fortress with uh, with uh, Wolf camp. When the battle started, Jin soldiers came streaming through the passage. Later, the Mongol army, which is what he was leading then, found the secret. He, they found the secret and then they cut the passage and easily captured the fortress so that's how they invaded the other fortress the fortress of or the wuxia fortress so it was removed um i will find out more about it but remember yeah this is um the capital city of china is beijing right so most probably this is uh in beijing and uh, the bridge of juyongguan I believe this is in Beijing so anyway I'll confirm all of these details in the next videos okay thank you so much for the listening I hope you were um, empowered or inspired to get to know more about our history especially to the other side of the globe 
when that things happen and this side of the globe happened so what exactly happened during those times I'm also quite interested about the movements of the tectonic plates you know um, tectonic plates I mean the the continents is not just seven continents it's actually um, formed in just one I mean they're so close together before so that's one thing I am looking forward to um, talk about with you in my video so I guess that's it for now thank you so much bye netizens until next time